It starts right at the very beginning, really, um, when uh, Dad came out of the army and uh, began to teach me to ride. In those days, it was a homemade special. Dad and a friend made the bikes. I think in the beginning, I just loved riding a motorcycle from three to when I started a race when I was five, all the way through the schoolboys. I just enjoyed racing and riding. And I, I never thought of an end goal where it was all leading to till I was about 14. physical levels that Eric and I pushed ourselves to were immense. Yeah, it just pushed us right to the, the very end of our physical capabilities. When you look at the 89 season, every single time I ran, every single time I trained, all I thought about was Steve's words. You've blown it Dave. You've blown it. You've blown it. And the motivational part of what he said I used to my advantage. For me, the pivotal point was in the middle of the season when Steve said to me, Dave, you've blown it, you're done. I couldn't have another 87 and 88 on me, so it, it had to work. I'm sure Dave Thorpe will put this down as one of his greatest ever victories. He takes the chequered flag, he's beaten Eric Gabor. Thorpe doesn't know it. Everybody else in the pits does. Surely now somebody's going to tell him they have. He's draped in the Union Jack. Thorpe's done it. The 26 year old Honda rider from Berkshire is the 1989. World 500cc motocross champion. People now talk about legends of motocross in the 80s and there was all of my teammates plus George, Harkin, Kina Gardner, Vimond, um, so many great champions in the 80s that kind of, yeah, just made it all. You really, really had to be on top game. We've spoke about it, Gail and I, for quite some time, really. And uh, when we first thought about it, um, lockdown happened and uh, it sort of slowed us down a little bit. And then 
through conversations with Jack over the last 18 months. Jack's been a great help uh, in helping write the book because he was part and parcel of the racing when I was younger. He used to travel a fair bit with us and share rooms and um, I couldn't think of anybody better to talk it through with really.